What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It's a new month. It's time for VGM. It's time for Floydomania. Oh, yeah, brother. Don't rip that shirt. Yeah, you kidding? No, no, this is a brand new shirt. I, I'm, I'm not tearing into this <laughs> shirt. What I am going to tear into is our video games monthly. There you go. Video Games Monthly, are you ready? This is the monthly subscription service that sends retro video games of your choosing from a wide variety of consoles and held straight to your door. You do not send them back, you get to keep them. What games? Well, populate a list of what you already have. Make sure you put in any new games that you pick up from VGM or out on your own so you don't get any duplicates. There you go, it is that easy. We subscribe to the three games a month box Many times we were lucky enough to not get a Tony box, although he's he gotten a two up recently. So I, I don't think a Tony box is even a thing anymore. I don't even know what the world it's is the like. The end of an era. In the past, Lady Lacey has liked to open this and give me hints, but we did a two box unboxing recently. So I think it's about time for us to kind of trade it off, which means no one here gets to look as we open it up. Let's uh, let's get some of the weird stuff out of the way. Well, there's that. Ooh. All right, who should guess first, you or me? I don't know. Who we got? We got a one up. Woo! Ba -ding! We got, yeah, it's a vinyl sticker. I thought maybe it was a tattoo, but it seems to be the right way for Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, nice. Way, that was a good game. I loved that game. It had been a long time since I 100% <laughs> completed a game. That one could not resist. Oh. Oh, look at that Super Mario sticker. Super Mario! I like That's that. That's a good one. Those are going to make good magnets. So you're making me guess the title or what's on the cartridge? I'm, I will tell you the title and you try to tell me something that's on the cartridge. This one isn't very fair though. I don't think you'll get it. Fear Factor Unleashed. Fear what? Factor Unleashed? What's something that could be on the label? The weird yellow and black writing of the Fear Factor logo. Uh, tell you what, fair enough. I'm going to give that one to you because I don't think you would guess. What is that? A yeah, see the yellow and black of the Fear Factor logo. But what's that in the background? A sun? An orange? Yeah. So what do you think you do in this game? A Fear Factor... How do you play a Fear Factor video game? Probably you get to be the person in the, the scary things. Like maybe you have a tarantulas or something all over the screen. But I mean, I don't play the game with tarantulas crawling on me. But it's on the screen. So like, the, you know, you have to face your fears of... Or <laughs> having to like eat something really gross. Yeah. All right, all right, your turn. That's my guess. Reach in there. This one is Japanese. Okay. And it's an N64 cart. Oof. Okay. There is a furry and a feathered friend. A furry and a feathered feathered friend. And some um, pink guy with a skull on his head. Banjo Kazooie. Yep. Is it Kazooie? Yep. Not Tooie? Uh -huh. So over here, I think they just called it Banjo Tooie. Yeah. Future Tom, throw a little comparison image <laughs> up there for me, would you? But yeah, Banjo Kazooie 2. <laughs> so with the furry and the bird, you got. With the furry and the bird, I had it. <laughs> Great games, by the way. You know, probably one of the better things to come out of the Nintendo 64, besides the claw controller. With the three <laughs> frogs. <laughs> Sorry. All right. What have we got for you? So we've got. Oh, it's a Super Famicom game. Uh -oh. Okay. You, you've got a chance. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> this is the Great Circus. Mystery 
two. There's going to be blacked out animals. No. Because then you don't know what the animal is. No. Just an outline of, a, of an elephant. Nope. Is there an elephant? Is there a kangaroo? It's a no. jackal. It's a jackal? Jackal. Is it a jackal? There's, there's something that's close to a jackal. A jackal? It's from the Walt Disney Company. Dumbo? No, but that would have been my guess, too. <laughs> I said an elephant. It's a jackal. It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Mickey and Minnie. Oh, Mickey and Minnie. What's the jackal? That guy. I think he's one of the weasels, like, from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But oh, he could kind of be a jackal. Maybe, yeah. He could cross-dress as a jackal. Why do the bombs Mickey? have said clown faces with hats and feet? That's weird. Now, a lot of the Disney games were fun side-scrolling games, so the fact that this is in Japanese may not be a, a deal-breaker. We may be able to play this on, like, a, you know, visual novel. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll be fun, because Disney did put out some really awesome 16-bit games. So high hopes. High hopes for that one. High ho, high ho. Snow White and the dwarves are not on there either. Jeez, you even saw the cover. They like to put in a card that tells you to share what you got, and you might just win some free games. And it's also a reminder to update that list so you don't get duplicates. Okay, this is a Sega. Well, that's good because we were having another run of uh, Nintendo, and that would have made a certain console head person. Not very happy. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so something to do with car, race <laughs> car. But not for real. So car, not for real. Uh, VR racing. Sort of. Crap. <laughs> what are you gonna <laughs> you the racing part, What do right? we got? Oh, <laughs> this is what I was thinking of. <laughs> I don't know why I called it VR racing. Virtua racing. <laughs> that cart's weird. It's like it's got a little cart inside of it. Well, actually, that is because this has a special proprietary chip in it. Because back in the day, before you had your DLC and your patches that you downloaded from the interwebs with your noises that come through the phone sounding like robots screaming in pain and Margaret, it terrifies me. You had special proprietary chipsets in cartridges that would help change the graphics. So a lot of people are familiar with this in the Super Nintendo with yeah. Star Fox, but Sega didn't do a whole lot of it because let's face it, they mostly just turned a console add-ons instead of putting chips in there. It did make the games a little more pricey. The Tower of Power. <laughs> would make the games a little pricier. And in later years, these games would often be pains to try to emulate. Because, you know, it's like you could make all of your other Sega Genesis games work just fine. But this one had a special chip, which meant jumping through some more hoops. play your Nintendo tapes. I will. I will <laughs> play my Nintendo tapes. Thank you very much. I'm going to make you play Fear Factor and throw spiders at you. <gasps> That's terrible. <laughs> You're going to tell them what you used to threaten with if, if I didn't, if I wasn't good? What, catching a bunch of spiders, crumbling them up in your cereal? No, the uh, soap, the shampoo one. I don't even remember that one. That one was the one where you told me you were going to catch a bunch of spiders, put it in my shampoo so that when the bubbles came out, there'd be Spiders popping everywhere. Oh, that's right. Spider bubbles. Do you see what I have to deal with, people? Anyway, <laughs> nerdlings, please let us know if you've played any of these games. I know a lot of people actually liked Virtual Racer. It was a very fun arcade-style racing game. If you know anything about this Fear Factor game, if you've tried to play Banjo in Japanese, and <laughs> if you've played this Mickey Mouse game, please give the video a like. Leave the comments down below. Subscribe. Notification bell. You guys know all this by now but just in case you don't go over to facebook and like us on twitter and instagram 
and buy our stuff on Tee Public. And we like to hang out on the Retro Refresh on occasion. So, you know, fun times. And also, if we like it, we nerd it for special chips. I like chips. But don't eat them with a dip. I like French onion dip. Like wavy lays and French onion dip. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Play with that, Paul. Boom! Seriously, it looks like just a, a heel to a loaf of bread. It does. <laughs> so I was like trying to pull this out. I was like, it looks like it comes out. It doesn't come out. <laughs> you it guys said it's effective games. <laughs> hey, PGM, this comes out. <laughs>